Hello everybody! I told you I'm bringing something, so it's a new different taste, and as you can see, it's a second trip to Daiso. Yeah, last week we decided to go by Daiso, and we decided to get a few more things to try. It is too bad I didn't think to bring a camera that could have recorded, because we also decided to go by 85 degrees, because we actually have one right next to the Daiso that's near us. And it was delicious, but we could have shown y'all our... I, Especially that chocolate delay. Yeah. yeah. It's like, oh, yeah, that's the, that's the stuff. That, that's the moment. That's the moment. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. Ooh. Imagine that the woman who loves chocolate and sugar likes something that was chocolate and sugary. It was like a chocolate cheesecake. It was so delicious. Like chocolate fudge cheesecake. It's like, <laughs> oh, my God, it's so delicious. Like, oh. So. Delicious. Anyway. Since we can't talk about that, unfortunately, we're going to talk about the random shit we grabbed at Daiso. Which, uh, I don't think we were thinking, and we just grabbed some stuff that really is not going to... I was say, we were just grabbing frightening us. Just... So let's go ahead and we're going to get the worst one ever out. And you can see this little sucker. Grilled squid. Yeah, grilled dried squid at that. Oh. Uh, we were going to pre prep this until I remembered our last video we did of this, where I about killed myself with like, oh. shrimp crackers. My, yeah, we need to get that on tape or, or tape. I'm old. You get that on video. Mmm, <laughs> I don't know if that was a squid I just smelled. That smells like cat food. Oh. Oh, oh God. Oh. Please don't vomit there. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my God. I made cough up a hairball. Oh, uh, this will oh. give you hairballs. Oh, did I get cat food on accident or something? Oh, oh, this, shit. oh, is that supposed to be cat food, not human food? No, because this is sugar, and cats aren't supposed to have sugar. Oh, oh God, my I'm God. afraid now. I'm oh, like... I'm so scared. Oh, it feels terrible. Why is it clear? It, it, I don't know if y'all can see this. You can kind of see through it. It's translucent. Oh, yeah, that's, that's weird. Mm, it doesn't smell like bear. Don't get up close. Oh, bumps up. I would knock it here, but. Uh... I need something to spin. I can't chew that damn thing. Mmm. Okay, it didn't taste so bad. It had more texture of just plastic. Ugh. Oh my god, now I'm trying to taste it though. Oh my. Yeah, god. I taste it. Okay. Not too gross. I'm spinning it back in the bag. Go ahead. I'm throwing that shit out. <laughs> that was it. Ugh. Ugh. God, I'm glad I have a fresh thing of water. <laughs> Save me water. <laughs> there, cause you, no, don't open that. <laughs> yeah, Megan has a root beer down there. She just knocked it right over. And I oh even gosh. told her, it's like, how about we put it where you won't oh get it? Oh my god. Oh. And instead, she I, knocked I it had right another over. whiff of it as I did that. I was like, oh my god. Mm. Uh, mm. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, y'all. I, I was trying to chew it. Yeah, I figured you were going to um, go that one way, so I was all worried about that. Here's oh part of the god. issue with that. Ugh. The uh, texture to me, it feels like plastic. Yeah, and it, it does feel like plastic. And because of that, it's making my gag reflex want to kick in and wants to make me spit it out and I want to vomit. And I'm like, no, I'm going to vomit, even though it's not the. It doesn't taste good by any stretch of imagination. It's not like the worst thing ever. It doesn't taste as bad as it smells. I was going to say, it doesn't have a taste really. I mean, after chewing it for a while, then. Then you start to taste it, it's like, ugh. Yeah, but to me, it's just it's just texture. Like I said, it's making my gag reflex kick in, yeah. and I'm going to throw up. And I'm like, no, I'm, this is not going to be the thing that's going to make me throw up. It's going to be the bugs whenever we eventually decide to eat bugs. You, you do that all on your own. Mm. We'll say at least I'm not burping it right now. Ugh. I was saying, I'm going to try this. No, nah, we, we got to jump these bastards. Oh, at least it has fried peanuts in it. This is a savory rice snack Mmm, or ume, I think is how that's pronounced. Uh, plum. I like plums, so. Yeah. Maybe this will be decent. I kind of want to space the gross stuff out. Let's see how this... Why well, are you figuring you'll get that stuff out of the way, and then we can get some more... Mmm, I want to keep my, you know, vomit in me. <laughs> Try to smell this. It smells like... Ugh. It smells like peanuts. I have to get, like, a little handful of this shit. 
Yeah, it just smells like nuts, like peanuts or cashews or something. Mm hmm Yeah, it's just smelling like a little thing of nuts. Okay. I'm, I'm going to try and get... Yeah, it's supposed to have plum. Yeah, I think that's the little fried little bastards here. I think that's what they're supposed to be. See that? Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, that, that smells like plum. And there's little peanuts here. Yeah. See, there's little peanuts. With fried peanuts. Let me get the peanut real quick. Mm. Yeah, quick. Huh? Right, let's try uh, these bastards. I got a handful. I got like one. Well, it's only two. Shoot balls that salty. It's a little on the spicy side. Ooh. Yeah, it is spicy. I got a little bit of cancer. Mm. Nice. Mm, yeah, that's salty as shit. Oh, well, that's the reason why. 191 milligrams of sodium per serving. Mmm. It's not bad. Oh. I don't know where plum comes into all this. I was hoping it's it got a slight plum taste. It's got like slight fruity taste. Yeah, but but then the like the spice kind of kicks in and it's like, oh well, never mind. Yeah, it, the spice destroys your taste buds in all essence. It's not that it's super spicy. <coughs> Pardon me, my choking on a was, peanut. Okay. If you're wondering, I mean, it got a little bit of cake. It's really kind of off-putting more than anything. Yeah, because it's just it's so out of nowhere because. Usually sweet and spicy go together really well. Like something that is disgusting, but it's the best thing ever is actually like take a jalapeno, dip it in ice cream and eat it. Oh, no. Don't, don't scratch your eyes afterwards. You will kill yourself then. But the sweetness will kill the heat, but make the jalapeno flavor come forward, which is the best thing ever. I'm a fat guy, so... If you say so. Yeah, I know so. Well, well not you about that you being a fat guy. You're not fat. Get up off you. <laughs> yeah, um, those are... Nah. They're salty as shit for me at first, and then those got hit by spice. Oh, yeah, well, that's a thing. I'm the one just got hit with the, like, like subtle, subtle plum and then spice. It's like, well, that's kind of awkward. Yeah, it's a odd flavor. Yeah, I Trying to figure out how to open these like regular potato chips and it wasn't working at all for me. I'm trying to, I'm just having a tear. I'm trying to oh, but they do, do it that. down the middle like most normal people. You can't. There's just. You, I was say you grab Oh, one. there it is. It's fun to start here. Hmm. Oh, was, I did not show y'all what this is. These are uh, what they call shrimp, shrimp, shrimp chips. chips baked. They, uh, I wonder, it's like, okay, well, they're, they're just the regular yuzu and black pepper. I mean, it smells like uh, regular old um, digits. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, see, they just smell like potato chips. I don't, I don't really smell anything personally, but yeah. But down the hatch. Yep, down the hatch. Boom. You get shrimp. It's not like the shrimp cracker that tried to murder oh me last God, time. Yeah. But you get uh, like a. A hint of a flavoring of shrimp. It tastes like a, you know, slightly. It tastes like your your, your tongue is confused. I'll just put it that way. It's yeah. like, okay, why is this shrimp so crunchy? Is <laughs> what my brain is thinking. I mean, it doesn't taste bad by any stretch of imagination. There's it, quite a bit of pepper. Oh yes, there is. Yeah, if you do not like pepper, you will not like this. I also have a, um, a flavor called black pepper. That is it. Oh. <laughs> I love her, folks. Wheat puff snacks, yuzu and black pepper. Okay. Yeah, and they're supposed to have. Well, it says try yuzu and black pepper and uh, our other robust flavors, so. I don't want to try another one. I'm just, just hog in a bag. It's. It's fine. Different. I mean, it's not bad. Yeah, it's something that if you're curious about and you want to get, you want to try it. <sighs> you're not going to hate it. And this one worried me when I was. This, this one worried me too. It's like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah well, gummy candy is supposed to taste like tomatoes. Yeah, it's. it's like, I'm afraid. It's like, why? Yeah. 
it smells like tomatoes. Well, so that much. Things smell on the outside. Mine are individually wrapped. Oh, yeah. Oh, That's tomato. Oh, yeah. Oh. I like tomato. Just uh, my brain is confused. It's like, why do I smell tomato? And I see what looks like a a gummy bear who fucked a cube. So let's yeah. eat it. Down the hatch. Mm. I taste like a tomato. And my brain's confused, like I said. First off, it's actually a pretty good little gummy. I don't say that much. I mean, not surprisingly, not bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you like gummies, you're gonna like this. Just you're gonna have to like tomato. It's not a super strong tomato flavor, but it is there's a obvious tomato there. They're just. It's, it, the subtle, it, the flavor is a bit more subtle than the smell suggests. Yeah, smell makes it say it's gonna be really tomatoey, but then you taste it, and you're like, oh yeah, it's just like it's like any kind of a gummy snack. It's you know the gummy flavor kind of is the major thing. It's fine if you like tomato, you're gonna like it. But if you don't, if you hate tomato, you're not gonna like it. But uh -huh. that's gonna be. Now this one is just pretty much uh, we're using palate cleanser, blueberry. Oh, that is the one I'm most most looking forward to. Yeah, I like blueberry. I don't mind blueberry, so I'm gonna have to guess. Yep. Individually wrapped. Mm-hmm. Oy, oy. Yeah, you can tell it's blueberry. Inside the bag just reeks of freaking blueberries. <laughs> you want me to take that one home? I'll take them all home. I'm good. I yeah, ain't give them to your dogs. <laughs> hey, puppies, here, try the squid. That ain't work. You know and we have, like, a boxer just throwing this shit in. Yeah, that smells pretty good. I'm not a huge blueberry fan, but I don't mind blueberries. Like, I'm not gonna go reaching for blueberries. Yeah, it smells good. Mm. I have a quick dog. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's clean in the power. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm actually glad that we mm. had these last because they're actually they're just coating my tongue. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, that's delicious. Mm-hmm. So mine. <laughs> yeah, sorry if we kind of blew through these real quick, just a lot of these I was frightened by, like the squid just scared oh, me God. beyond no words. Squid? And I was like, maybe. I was really thinking it was going to be crispy for some reason. Like, it was at least going to be... at least be... not taste like plastic? Yeah, like it said, that... And the uh, peanut things kind of worried me. That I was like, okay, well, I don't mind plum. Well, I actually want peanut, but it's extra rice. I like, I don't mind plum. Okay, maybe it'd be good. I really wasn't expecting it to be really spicy. Sure, and the shrimp... Not bad. Yeah, the shrimp chips kind of worried me, too. So, you, what do you have for worst, best, or worst, or worst to best? Uh, let's go ahead and say, worst is the... I was about to say, hands this down, nasty the shrimp bastard. shit. The shrimp? The shrimp. Grilled the squid. squid. B.S. The squid Ugh. shit. <laughs> the clothes I've come to throw it up so far on this. Same here. Like, uh, what's next then for you? Hmm. Let's see, I'd probably have to say the the plum stuff. Yeah. And the chips. Actually, you know what? I'd say the tomato stuff. Mm -hmm. Then the chips. And the best of the blueberry. Yeah, I would say the squid's probably the worst. It's easily the worst. Actually, not probably. Yeah, there's it no even... It ain't even close. Yeah, the rest of them's at least edible. The squid, it <sighs> just wants to make me die. Like I said, again, it's the taste is not good. But it's just, it's texture. Like I said, I don't know what was happening. It was making me gag. It was making my just gag reflex like, hey, you want bile pulling up to your, all the way up to the top of your esophagus? Oh, God. Um, I would say, of course, yeah, just like when making the plum things. It's just because I did not like that salt. Just, I am a person who's been trying to cut down on my salt intake. I fam, Heart disease runs through my family, so I'm trying to nip it in the bud with me. 
so saltiness, I very, very, you know, noticed, I notice it like it's nothing. And it just didn't have a strong enough plum flavor. And it's just that spice is just out of nowhere. And it's like, there's nothing on this bag that told me I was getting spice at all. Mm. Hell, I don't even know what's in the bottom here, why it's all red. I think that's supposed to be the dried plums. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm going to actually switch it up with Megan. I'm going to say the shrimp chips. And then the tomato. Yeah, then the tomato. It's not that the shrimp chips are bad by any stretch of imagination, just I like the tomatoes, tomato well, flavor a little bit more, and I also like gummies. And, yeah, and the blueberry. Yeah, then the blueberry is probably the best. Um, just to expouse a little bit more about the shrimp chips. If you are ha if you are happening, <laughs> I English good. If you happen to be wandering around through a Daiso or through any kind of Asian market, and you come across these, um, give them a shot. If you like potato chips, you'll probably like. I'm not a huge potato chip guy. I will say that much. I think I even said in the last one we tried the honey chips that I thought were actually pretty good. Um, but if you like potato chips, you'll probably like it. The shrimp flavor is a very undercurrent flavor. And it's not like the fucking cracker that it just smells like death. <laughs> um, tomato gummy, if you like tomatoes, you're going to like it. Do be warned that the gummy, it's a good gummy. But it's a good gummy, and the fact that it also gets stuck in your teeth, like I'm still sort of fighting with the tomato and blueberry in my teeth right now. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, blueberry's definitely the best. And also, like anything Asian, it's not going to have a ton of sugar. So actually, if you want to give this to your kids, it's probably not a bad idea because it's not a super sugary uh, little treat. Though I am still confused on why they're individually wrapped. So... I'm confused about the squid. I, I am too, beyond no I, imagination. And like, are we so sure that this is... Well, I mean, it's got, like, nutrition facts, you know, that people, <laughs> you know, follow. Yeah, because that's a 2,000 calories, just you don't want to be a dog, that's 2,000 calories, that's a big fat dog. 8% mm -hmm. of our vitamin C intake. Uh, there you go. He's a servant of that shit. You got 8% of your vitamin C. Yeah. I just... Like I said, I don't know what it is. If somebody out there has tried the dried squid and it and has survived it, let me know. Because uh. I guess I just can't chew it. It's like, I'll chew a couple and it's like, Hey, you're chewing plastic. Spit it out. I don't know if... Gross thing I've had to do yet. Yeah, the texture was a little bit off-putting, but what really made me get was that, that taste that eventually kicked out. Like, <laughs> Again, wait till we eat the crickets and get legs. <laughs> I'm gagging just thinking about it. <laughs> it's one of those you have to take your mind out of it and be like, I'm not eating crickets. <laughs> You're doing that one by yourself. Alright, we can do it with me. No, I'm not doing the bug. You can do the bugs. Okay, you're not doing the bugs. I haven't been bugs with you. Okay, I'm not doing the bugs. Yeah, he said, you're not doing bugs. Sorry, sweet Meg's going to do them all. <laughs> I know, I miss word of that. Just a little. So yeah, that's our little trip to Daiso. If we get another one, their trip in soon, or actually there is a Hispanic market near us. We might go peruse them soon. That, not the pun, is not intended. Peruse an area in South America. I know, but I'm telling, like, I'm telling... Are you talking about the... Yeah. The lights? The place that's literally right. It's... Like, I could go walk to it right now and it'll take me about five minutes. Place of the blinking yeah. lights. <laughs> yeah, we just got it, like... Uh, A few two, months ago? Three months ago. Yeah, they finished. Construction on... The lights are all fucked up already. I'm like... Don't you do? All of them. Yeah. They all, like, blink. Like. But, yeah, uh... That's Daiso. It tried to murder us this time. Last time it tried to kill us with smell. This time it actually tried to just kill us via trying to choke us. At least, I will say that much, that is probably the most reviled thing I've gotten yet. Yeah. Because the shrimp cracker I could eat. Even the nasty freaking egg biscuit I could eat. Yeah, well the egg biscuit was it, just dry it, as hell. Yeah, and then it tried like, to mm -hmm. choke you. It was like, oh, oh, oh. 
what is happening? You're like, yeah, no, 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 no. I need to wash it down. Yeah, I was like, all right, water, water. And this thing just, like I said, it just kicked in a gag reflex on me. I was like, oh, no, need to vomit, need to vomit. Get out. No, but, yeah, so that's Daiso, and, hey, maybe next time it'll kill us. If not, we might throw in some new ones, like I said, new places. We were going to go to this, um... One area, it's Indian food that actually has a lot of Indian candies. I was gonna try, but it closed down. I was like, damn it. Yeah. Because we went through there one day and was like, oh, let's grab some stuff next time we're over here. We're gonna be over there like in a couple weeks and gone now. Like, yeah. <laughs> so until then, maybe we'll get some more weird shit. In fact, I do have an idea for one video. Uh -oh. We'll see how it all works. I just gotta get a few things together. So until then, um, yeah, miss the fucking dried squid and hey, a little green. We want some good gummies. I was like, go for the gummy candy. They also have a bunch of different flavors like strawberry and I think raspberry and possibly like plum. Or yeah, I think they had a cherry one and stuff like that. They had a yeah, wasabi like, one, but I, I'm not a wasabi guy. Yeah, it's like more conventional ones. Like we just grab blueberry because I like it. And, uh, tomato for yeah, the Yeah, tomato because it's like unconventional. It's like, okay, curious. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh ah, well. Did I spill that? I knew you did as soon as you turned it up. Like, oh, that's our work. <laughs> I didn't turn it. fell over. I knocked it over accidentally. It, 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 so, I knocked it over accidentally. So until then, everybody, we will see y'all the next one. Hopefully we don't die. So until then, everybody, bye-bye. Bon appetit.